morning everyone happy saturday i have the fluffiest hair in the world i've just washed it and blow dried it but i haven't done anything else with it and i don't think i'm going to i am back down in the sewing room i am going to have a play around with the layout because i think if i move my table all the way over to the left and forwards but up against the cutting table i'll be able to have my little side table fully extended out that will also mean that we can put the ironing board this side which will make it easier for both mum and i to access so i'm going to have a little bit of a play around because all the we all the furniture's on wheels so it's all movable so i'm going to give it a go and see how that works so yeah i'm planning on just shifting all of that along there so it's butt up against the chest of drawers there that chest of drawers is paper crafting related so i'll move the ironing board to there and I think that might actually work better. So I'm gonna, gonna give it a try. Okay, actually I think this is gonna work really well because it gives us the same walkway through, but the ironing board is way more accessible for both of us. So mum can just get at it from here and then I can get at it from here. And I do have my table fully extended. I may need to just reorganize some of the drawers because this is covering up some of the drawers. I could move this further forward, but I, I, I don't need to. And if I am smart about what I put in these drawers, like these ones back here are overlocker thread. This table, literally, this just lifts off and then I can get at them. But the, the one that I'm gonna move is this top drawer here is all my pattern drafting stuff. And down the bottom here, I've got all my horsehair braid and things like that. So obviously I use my pattern making stuff way more. So if I swap those two drawers around, I think this will work really well. So I've got my table fully up. It's further along than it usually was. It usually kind of came out from here and then there was a gap behind it. And I've only recently worked out after watching the video, the horn video that it attaches to this piece as well. So it's going to give, give me loads more room, which is great because one of the things I struggled with was using my overlocker and cover stitch at the same time because there wasn't really enough room because my machine is kind of here and then I'd have the overlocker there but it would be this much further forward so this way around I can have the overlocker there the cover stitch there and the machine there and it'll work brilliantly so that's good so yeah I think this is I think this is the way forward. I mean, I was always gonna have to fold this table down to pull the cutting board out, or the cutting board, cutting table out to be able to walk around the cutting table. That was always gonna have to be the way that it, it was. But with the table in this configuration, that should be really easy to do. And I've got a really nice big space back here. It has changed to my background somewhat, but there's still fabric back there. So it's still pretty things for you guys to look at. Hey, you're still on the squiff. So yeah, there's still it's still a kind of colourful bright background. It just shifted over a little bit. It does give mum easier access to my fabric, which is worrying. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really pleased with this. Now that I've decided where this is gonna go, I'm gonna fold it back up and then I'm going to start trying to trace out the Vogue 9037, which is quite exciting. It's actually a step towards sewing, which I haven't done since January. I haven't sewn since January and it's the middle of May. Oh, you can't wait. I was getting, I think I told you guys, I was getting to the point where I was just getting like overwhelmed with, I want to make everything. And then uh, like nothing was going to get made because I didn't know where I wanted to start. I kind of rewatched my Make 9 video. I said that I'd be starting it around May and uh, here we are. So yeah. I think, I think that's the way forward. As I say, I have got some other bits and pieces that I do need to do. I've got commitments to get them done, but it's quite a simple dress and I really wanna be selfish and sew something completely for me, chosen by me to start with. I think, yeah, I think that's just, um, just how it's gonna be. So yes, I'm gonna fold this table all back up, tuck it away and then pull the cutting table out and start tracing out some patterns. So exciting! layer 
of tracing paper worked really well and uh, I have finished tracing out and altering my pattern. I have drafted lining for it, I've lengthened it by an inch, lengthened, lengthened the sleeves by three quarters of an inch, done the hem facing as well. So it's five o'clock, I am going to go and sit down. I haven't done this for a long time. Let's actually talk to you. Yeah, I haven't done this for a long time and my back hurts. I'm not surprised because yeah, it's been nearly about four and a half months, hasn't it? But ow! <laughs> The height of the table is brilliant, it's really good. I will tweak the configuration of where I'm going to put my sewing table for when I'm cutting out because the position I've left the table in at the moment is not ideal, especially if mum is quilting because she wouldn't be able to get the back flap of her table up with where I've got the cutting table at the moment and there is a lot of room sort of in this area I just need to work out where to put my sewing desk because we've got the iron it, it used to go there but then obviously the iron's set up there so just going to get some take some getting used to but I will get there eventually but it was very nice to have my audiobook on and do some tracing I am going to cut out the lining and the fabric and the interfacing tomorrow and hopefully get some sewing done tomorrow which is exciting loads of you guys have been asking about the live hangouts i need to check that the internet is strong enough down here because we are away from the main house and about as far away from the router as we can get i'm going to do a private hangout uh, with a couple of people just to see how it ha how, how the internet handles it down here and if it's going to work as is if it doesn't we've got um we've got the uh, router boosters from bt and we have a tp link as well which is how i got internet in my place in the last house that we lived in fingers crossed that will be enough if it isn't we will try and look into a new way of getting internet down here but i'm hoping that we can have our first hangout in the new studio next weekend but i need to test it first because I, I'm not sure how good the internet is down here. I can I can look on things online, but I don't know if it's going to candle streaming. We shall see. I'm going to head back up to the main house, try and finish editing the Dolce & Gabbana video because <laughs> for some reason that is just taking me forever. Yeah, that's going to be my evening. So I'm going to say goodbye. So I don't know if this probably won't be one whole video. I'm probably going to tack on tomorrow to this as well. So I hope you've, I've, I hope you've enjoyed what I've been up to today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye! It's me again. I fibbed. I have been back up to the main house. I've cooked dinner for me and dad and I have watched a movie. It's... I've had a glass of red wine as well. Oh, th yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's another glass of red wine. I've watched Salazar's Revenge, another Pirates of the Caribbean movie, so I've watched all five of those this weekend. It's only Saturday afternoon, <laughs> evening. I was kind of sitting there just twiddling my thumbs and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna come down. I'm going to start cutting out fabric had a glass of wine what's the worst that could happen i'm back in the sewing room i think i'm going to try and put you on a time lapse again up in the up in the little nest that i found for you earlier and uh, we'll see how it goes and i think also with the table until because the floor guy is coming next week to look at it he's not coming to attach the lino he wants to come and see what he's attaching lino to and what kind of lino we want so until then i think what i'm going to do is actually cut some longer pieces of paper and wrap them around and tape them down to the top so that i can cut out finer fabrics like some of the rayons that i've got that i want to work with because the lino like I say, probably won't materialise next week. And I have a dressing gown on because I'm cold. Actually, it's 21 degrees in here and I left a couple of hours ago and turned the heating down and it's retained the heat really well, which bodes well. Time lapse for you, cutting out for me. What could go wrong? Okay, so I've taped down some of my tracing paper to the tabletop to kind of just, just make sure that there's no edges or bits that are going to catch on the fabric this is a temporary solution as you can see it's kind of hanging over the edge here i may go back and trim that later but for now i am going to attempt to cut out the lining and the wool which i think you can just about see there in the chair i'm going to try and cut those out in preparation for some sewing tomorrow which is exciting so time lapse for you cutting out for me Okay, 
So I have the lining and the outer cut out. This is what I've got left of my three and a half meters of fabric and I still need to cut out my facings and collar pieces from interfacing but I'm going to do that tomorrow because it's quarter to ten. I don't think I've made any mistakes. <laughs> Yeah, it means I can get sewing nearly immediately tomorrow. I will cut the lining, uh, the interfacing out and uh, get that all done and it should be a fairly quick make. I have made life more difficult for myself by putting a lining in but I prefer coats with linings in because I find them easier to get on and off so it, it's not going to take that much longer. So yeah, that's exciting but I've really enjoyed it and this cutting table is at such a good height. The, t the paper was a kind of a good idea although when I was pinning, I was pinning into the paper as well so I was having to be kind of careful about that. I, the fabric hasn't snagged on anything which was the main concern so work it's a workaround until the lino arrives but I'm very glad that I have come down and done that this evening. So I really am going to say good night now and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye! Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. I am back down in the sewing room. I am going to cut out the interfacing for the coat. Then I can push the sewing table or the cutting table into its corner, get my sewing table out and actually start sewing. Since first time since the middle of January. <laughs> so exciting. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan for today. I'm definitely out of the habit of vlogging as I sew. I've got totally carried away and finished the coat today. I it's 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 about 10 o'clock at night now though, so I'm going to show it to you tomorrow because there isn't really anywhere in here with good enough light that I it, I'll do it justice. You're in amongst the shoes again. Um, hopefully I can get far enough back to give you a view of this. So here's the coat and. Oh yeah, I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It has pockets. I added these giant belt carriers onto the sides. I really like those. The sleeves are ever so tight. I have a t-shirt on underneath this. I could get it on over my jumper, but it wasn't comfortable. I'm so annoyed with myself for not checking the width of the sleeves, but never mind. Never mind. This was never intended to be a winter coat. I mean, even with this like neckline, it would never be. A great winter coat uh, I'd have to wear giant scarves underneath it which I mean I have but I love it and look at this lining my iguanas with the little birds of paradise flowers so I picked out the red from those with the flat piping around the facing yeah I love it I have put the press stud on and um, but technically I don't need it because of the belt but I kind of like that I have both options. Chiana is definitely a want of attention. But yeah, this is my first thing that I've made in the new sewing studio and I absolutely love it. I'm very happy with it and this is, I think, a really good use of this teal or turquoise boiled wool that Wilson got me for Christmas from Stitch Fabric. So thank you, Wilson. I'm really pleased with how it's come out. I think it's filled a hole in my wardrobe because it's a smart short coat that's easy to throw on. The sleeves are ever so slightly tight. I was really careful with all the measurements for the body of the coat and it's plenty big enough there but the sleeves are tight and I I don't know if there are finished garment measurements on the sleeve pattern but I didn't even look which is really annoying. It's going to be one of those kind of coats that's worn over slimmer items but that's fine because 
it's whilst it is boiled wool I haven't interlined it with anything so it's not I wasn't ever expecting this to be the warmest coat in the world you know I'm not going to be wearing it over chunky jumpers and things like that but I, it will be great over dresses shirts and things in the slightly warmer months especially in the evenings yeah I'm annoyed with myself that I didn't check the finished garment measurements on the sleeve pattern but never mind never mind it fits I can wear it it's really pretty I love the lining I'm really pleased with how that's come out it worked really well because I drafted that myself I mean it's not the hardest thing in the world to do but I remember to add all the seam allowances I needed to which I forgot to do in previous occasions so yeah I'm pleased with that and that lining is awesome and I have enough left that if I use a plain color for the sleeves I could probably line a short jacket in that iguana print as well which is awesome I thought I'd better come and check in with you guys because I think the last thing you've seen is me sewing the collar of the coat or something like that so I thought I'd check in and just say finished it really like it I will show you tomorrow so I shall see you then bye